This world is the lost its ever loving mind. Oh man. Oh man, man. Wait till you hear this. Oh, mercy me. <laughs> oh, boy. And he had me too. <laughs> Check this out. Oh, man, you cannot make this stuff up. <laughs> All right, here he goes. <clears throat> oh, boy. Whew. Man wins okay to wear goat horns and driver's license photo. <laughs> Y'all <Yo>, believe me? <laughs> Look at this. Whoa. Look. <laughs> he happy too, ain't he? <laughs> oh, man. He wins the okay. Oh, mercy. Oh, oh boy. Man, I tell you, hold on. Oh boy, this stuff hurt. This stuff hurt your head. <laughs> okay. In a marina venue view, wherever we go, I don't know where it is. Augusta, Maine. An ordained pagan priest finally has gotten the okay to sport goat horns in his. It is main driver's license photo. Main resident, um, Plaguing Moonsong, said that unless he's sleeping or bathing, he always wears his goat's horns, which serves as his spiritual antenna to help him educate others about paganism. But Moonsong is, look at this, questioning why he had to appeal his driver's license photo to the state after explaining his religious beliefs to the Bureau of Motor Vehicle Staff. Plus, he adds, the horns didn't obstruct his face. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, I'm going to show you what's happening, okay? <laughs> I'm going to show everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 boy. Oh, 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 man. Everybody's asking. I bet you wonder why come I'm laughing up a storm. Right, watch this. I'm going to tell you the reason why I'm laughing up a storm. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <coughs> oh. oh mercy let me let me go ahead let me go ahead and pull it out again y'all ready I'm gonna pull it out again <laughs> you see what it says you see what it says it says look at that the constitution of the United States here we go first amendment amendment number one Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof <laughs> or abridging the right of freedom of speech or, the, or of the press or of the right of the people to peaceably assemble <laughs> and to petition their government for a redress of grievance. Whoa. In other words, I told you, this illusion, this illusion of America being a Christian nation, 
The ground beneath your feet is giving way. It's, it's all coming out from under you. Now everybody's more educated, more informed. They know the laws. They know what they know what they can do and cannot do. And now people are flexing. They're flexing their religious freedoms and muscles. Why? Because the Constitution said so. See, all this time, Christianity has had people blinded. Because remember, this is one nation, right? For all people, no matter of their racial orientation, no matter what religion you are, hey, and it's an American nation, isn't it? Yeah, okay. All right, now. So guess what? All you people now want to talk about, well, look, look, look at this. Traditional family values. Traditional marriage. Now, see, all that is, you got that right. Your Christian traditional, your Muslim traditions, whatever flavor you are, your tradition, but it has nothing to do whatsoever at all with the Declaration of Independence, the Bill of Rights, or the Constitution. Zero, 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 nada. Because this nation is not about being able to uh, be moral, have ethics, and have values. This nation is about everybody coming together and functioning as one in a secular, civil society. So that's the reason why that the Supreme Court, United States of America, can do a clean sweep and stop discriminating against people consenting adults being homosexuals. Hmm? Got a lot. You better not say nothing. Eat a book. You're going to lose your job. Boy, and they got a lot of power backed up by Congress, backed up by this country, don't they? Painted the whole White House rainbow. Man, they had already set up that they knew that the, the uh, Supreme Court Justice was going to do it. So, only thing he's doing is exercising his freedom of religion, his freedom of expression, his civil right. He's not harming anyone. See, the problem is, is that the hypocrisy of this country and all this stage playing and all this so-called, what you call being righteous and, and American and God bless America with damage, which God is that? <laughs> hey, the chickens have come home to roost. I'm going to include the rest of the article down here so you can read it. I can't, I, I don't, I, I got a headache from laughing so hard. I can't continue to keep doing this stuff like this, man, because it hurts my head. It does. But you read this article for yourself. And that's the truth. <laughs> and that's the truth straight away. <laughs> oh, oh, one more thing. I don't want to hear nothing else ever again about this system discriminating against women wearing head coverings because they choose to follow what the Bible says.